Most people in America are familiar with a hate crime, and it's usually something that is related to sex or gender. It includes rape. There are other types of hate crime in which are considered more hazing issues or college pranks. But a college prank is usually not malicious intent, and a college prank should not be going on at this time in American life. Most people have seen the films about college hazings. Most people have seen the newscasts on children dying of over-alcoholism. And most people are aware of what is and isn't lawful. It is foolish men and stupid women who participate in hate crimes. Hate crimes do involve forms of abuse. I'm going to show you some photographs in the next few videos that show you results of hate. Hate is when people abuse a person's clothes. Hate is when a person paints their clothing. Hate is when a person resizes clothing so it will not fit. Hate is when a person's beard gets cut. Hate is when a person is taken, disheveled from their clothing and photographed and shared across the community. Hate is when someone's body hair is shaved without permission or consent because they're asleep or put out in some illegal and ill-gotten immoral way. Even people in medical practice do this to people to try to produce a concept of medical fraud which is not their right to do today. We have no law enforcement policy that says a police officer may harm someone today, but we do have derelicts in a community who are so vile and so vulgar and so violent oriented and so vandalism oriented that they will harm someone because they feel some sort of insult from them. It is a immature mentality of age 10 to 13 in which they're mentally stuck. It may be why they are stuck with their codependencies on corners panhandling today. A minister is a different person. He's gone off to get minister licenses, however he can afford them or however he chooses to get them, or based on the denomination in which he chooses to celebrate and support. In America, we have rights to be ourselves. This is not a third world country. This is not Prussia. This is not a racist oriented community, although we do have laws on diversity, which sort of indicates that there is racism that exists. It's amazing how many people will play in who are impoverished and walk by me as if nanny nanny boo doo, did you know that it was me? And law enforcement can pick them up, but they just choose instead to get their content and their information and then pretend it's okay. The liars of America want there only to be men and only there to be women. The liars of America want to piss on people who work across this gender spectrum. I am not a supporter of someone who believes that you should live in the middle. So please do not misinterpret my conversations on this topic. What I am most appalled with are the people who are white, black, Hispanic, and Muslim, or Indian, or Hindi, who think they have rights to you or rights to me through unlawful procedures ill-gotten ways and immoral conduct that include tainting of food and abusing of beverages in which the food itself gets changed chemically in a way that it can knock a person out and they can be raped. 